Good day, grade 7 mathematics students. We are here on our quarter one, week one, lesson two. Again, I am Teacher Jung. Welcome to the fun world of mathematics. So, in this lesson, we will focus on the different terms and notation used on sets and describe the methods in writing sets. So first, let's take a look of these pictures. So which one is different? Okay, we have the Kalesa. Next one, we have car Cow, Carabao, Rooster, Pig, and Goat. Which one is different? Okay, it is the Rooster. So as you can see, in the first set, we have the kinds of transport that you discuss. Okay, so boat, car, bus, and plane have a common characteristic. Next, we have cow, carabao, pig, and goat. These are farm animals with four legs. These four... Um, animals share common characteristics. So these are an example of what we call sets. So what do we mean by set? Okay, set is the collection of well-defined distinct objects called elements that share a common characteristics. So we have examples. We have A, E, I, O, and U. So these are the vowels, or set of all vowels of the English alphabet. So again, they share a common characteristic. Next, we have um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So that these are the set of the days of the week. So we call these two examples as well-defined set. Because, as you can see, they share a common characteristic with a specific distinction. Okay, so let's. what if we have this one, set of barangays. Okay, so set of barangays, is this well-defined or not? Okay, this one is not well-defined because there is no specific barangay. Or this, this, there is no specific municipality given. So, on what of what barangays of um, Pozorubio, Binalonan, um, Ordeneta. So, if we give this or we post this one, um, my answer might different or is different to what is your answer because maybe I will give set of barangays in of San Fabian and you will use set of barangays in Puzurubio. So we need to give a specific um, location to make it well defined. So this one is not well defined. Now let's make it well defined. Um, set of barangays in Puzurubio. So we have the specific municipality. So therefore, we have we can now have the same answer. So example of the barangays in Puzo Rubio may contain Kablong, Alipongpang, Palak Palak, Villegas, um, Bantugan, Nantangalan, Maambal, Malokyat, and so on. All the barangays in Puzo Rubio. Okay, so that is well defined. Now, this one, set of good food. Okay, so set of good food is not well defined. Okay, um, we don't have the same definition of good food. But um, I can say that exotic food is a good food, but for you, it's not. I can, you can say that vegetables are good food, but for me, it's not. You can say fruits are good food, but for me, it's not. 
So, there is no specific distinction or specific or we don't have the same definition of good food, so that is not well defined. Okay, so we have three methods of representing sets. The first one, we have a statement form method. From the word statement, we will use a sentence. So we have A, E, I, O, U. We will represent A, E, I, O, U as set A. So in a statement form, Set A is the set of all vowels of the English alphabet. So this is the statement form. Next, we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. What are those? Those are the days of the week. So we can um, name this as set B. So set B is the set of the days of the week. Next, we have the rooster or tabular form method. So we have A, E, I, O, and U. So in tabular form, we have, the um, as you can see, we have A, set A, is set is represented by a capital letter. So in rooster or tabular form, we have this equal sign, set A, represented by capital letter, equal we have these two braces okay inside this open and closed braces we have a e i o u which is the element okay this a e i o u is what we call the element and it, it is separated by the um it is separated by commas so there is commas in between so element of a set is represented by small letters so e a e i o u are the vowels of the english alphabet for rooster or tabular method we have a is equal to a e i o u Next, we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, this group, we name this as set B. So, in rooster, we will write this. B is equal to close brace. So, we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, in between, we have the um, commas. Okay. So, um, another symbol used for sets, we have um, this symbol. What do we mean by that symbol? So, okay, an element A, so we have A, belong to set A. So we have this set A. Set A, we have A, E, I, O, U. Okay, so A belong to set A it can be written as A is an element of set a so this symbol represented by um, denoted by the word element or read as element rather okay and c is not an element because c is not belong to this group we don't have letter c for set a so we have example Another example, set B, we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Is Monday an element of set B? Okay, yes, because Monday is an element of set B. Is um, January was an element of B, set B? No, because we don't have January there. We, um, we only have the days of the week, not the month of the year. Okay, next we have the third one, the rule or set builder form method. So in set builder or rule method, we have this. Okay, um, we have this given answer. So A is an element of X such that this one or this column is read as such that x is 
a vowel of the English alphabet. Again, we read this set A or A is a set of elements of X such that X is a vowel of the English alphabet. Next one for the days of the week. B is an element is a set of elements of X such that this one is read also as such that X is the day of the week. Okay, so we have here some more examples. Number one, and is the set of counting numbers from one to ten. In in rooster method or rooster form, we can write as a is equal to one, two, three, four, five. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need counting numbers from one to ten. Next, we have the rule method. For rule method, we will write that a is the element. Or, uh, it's a set of elements of X such that X is a counting numbers from 1 to 10. Right, let's have another example. The set of all odd numbers less than 9. So we have rooster method A is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7. For rule method, we have A is the element is the set of elements of x such that x is an odd number less than nine. So now I hope that you learned you learned from this lesson. I that ends our lesson. I just want to say goodbye. See you again on our next lesson. Again, I am Mrs. Judy Ann Muriel P. Sariano of Benigna V. Aldana National High School Mathematics Department.